Okay, now we're talking about throttle position sensor, its location and its adjustment on a Hayabusa. So this is a 1999 model. On this Hayabusa the throttle position sensor is located on the left hand side just by the throttle bodies. It's that little wasset over here. Now on that model the throttle position sensor is screwed in by two little screws. It's that one here and the one at the bottom. So if you want to remove it completely those little screws will have to come off and then you simply disconnect one of the uh, one of the connectors, which is that one here. So to take it off it literally takes 30 seconds, very easy job. Now to adjust the throttle position sensor, it can be a bit fiddly, but I don't think you would spend more than 10 minutes to do that. And the way to do it is you've got to put your Hayabusa or any Suzuki motorcycle into a dealer mode, which you already know how to do. Just to remind you, it's putting those two, it's putting the wire into that little connector there. Once you've put your motorcycle into a dealer mode, the display will show you uh, the code, which in this particular case is the dash in the middle, C00, which is exactly what you want. Now the little dash uh, is responsible for the adjustment of the throttle position sensor. If the dash is at the bottom, that means it's misadjusted. If it's also at the top, that also means it's misadjusted. So what you want is exactly what you see now. Um, it took me about five, maybe ten minutes to adjust my TPS. Now, important thing on this particular Hayabusa is that you adjust your TPS when the engine is warmed up. So uh, start it up, let it run for about five minutes, and when it's warm, uh, you can start the procedure. Also, what's important is you've got to do this with the revs set up for 1150 RPM. So if I start it up now, uh, by the way my bike is cold so it's going to be a bit lower than 1150 RPM. So as you can see now, I've only got 1000 RPM because the bike is still cold. I've only started it up. So um, if you have any trouble with adjusting uh, the revs to 1150, you can use the idle adjuster which is located over here on the right hand side. That's this little knob over there. So once you've got 1150 RPM on, on the tack and the engine is warmed up, you can start the procedure. So the way you would do it is, the engine is running, you would unscrew, just loosen those two little screws, and then you gently, very gently move the sensor down or up. And you don't actually have to move it by your fingers, it's just enough to tap it. It's very, very sensitive, so just tapping it will be enough to change the reading. So, once you've tapped it, or lifted it, then the reading will change. The little dash will go up or down. Uh, and what you want to have is the dash being in the middle. Now, very important, once you've adjusted it in the middle, give it a few reps, just to make sure it stays there, okay? Uh, obviously, when you give it reps, it will go up for a moment, like it will now jumped up for a moment, but as long as it stays uh, in the middle at 1150 RPM after you've done it, you're good. You can then secure your uh, little screws and that's the whole procedure completed. And remember, it's very, very sensitive, so this is why it's such a fiddly job, because if you move it really, really hard up and down, it's going to be difficult to get that reading, so I really recommend just gently tapping it down or gently just moving it up and it should be okay.